Rebecca Smith. I'm a 3L Thomas More. I'm Jessica Trujillo. I'm also a 3L Thomas More. Um, and we'll just kind of chat with you a little bit about why we're here and what we like. So I decided to go to law school. Um, uh, I was working as a paralegal prior to going to law school at the National Immigrant Justice Center in Chicago. And um, I got to work with a lot of really interesting, brilliant attorneys and see what they do um, and assist with their cases. And it just inspired me. And um, I was kind of suspected I might go to law school, but that experience working as a paralegal before um, made me want to go to law school. Um. I was just one of those annoying kids who always wanted to go to law school and um, in undergrad I studied peace and justice and I became really interested in nonviolent resistance and nonviolent movements and um, community organizing and things like that. Um, but I thought that the kind of advocacy I wanted to do was individualized and um, you know representing individuals and so I figured law school was the way that I could use what I loved about peace and justice and um, bring it into force and having um, a law degree seemed the best way to go about that. And experiences with Thomas More. Um, I've uh, one of the big reasons I was attracted to uh, Gonzaga is because of the Thomas More program. Um, uh, all of the reasons that I was interested in going to law school, I knew were kind of related to public interest, public service, um, social justice, lawyering, and none of those things uh, really correlate with particularly high salaries, frankly. So I was very interested in finding a way to go to law school that was both grounded in the reasons I wanted to go to law school, so like the public service and social justice, but that also provided a route that wouldn't um, put me in a lot of debt. Yeah, I definitely second that. Um, the Thomas More program is amazing because you're with all these individuals who are so focused on the same issues you're focused on, just like Rebecca said, um, trying to find a way to do the type of legal work, civil legal aid, public defense, government work that just doesn't pay that well, but you need a law degree to do it. And so it's really empowering and um, incredibly grounding to be with all, all the other people that are going through it with the same mission. Um, and it's inspiring, it keeps you going through three years of law school. <laughs> um, and uh, I like, uh, one thing that's great about living in Spokane is that it is, um, it has a pretty uh, low, uh, cheap cost of living. I moved here from Chicago, she moved here from Portland, both um, real, much more expensive places to live than here. So, um, you know, I, I'm used to it now, but it felt very, um, uh, that's one huge plus of living. It's a really easy place to be as a student. Um, it's easy to get around. Uh, you can get anywhere in Spokane within like a 10 minute drive, I think. Um, so, uh, it, and it has pretty much everything you need. It's a nice um, size of a city. Yeah, definitely not a bad place to go to school for some time. Um, cost of living, can't beat it. And clubs or activities? Um, so in school, um, I'm currently the president of the Criminal Law Society, um, so we just kind of have a big pool of resources with students who have all interned in some court, um, sort of criminal law, whether prosecution, defense, um, or like more policy work, and then um, also part of street law, which is going to local elementary schools and high schools. Um, and teaching them like some kind of like constitutional law issues. And so Gonzaga definitely does have a lot of clubs and activities that students can be a part of. The Women's Law Caucus, we were both members of that for a while. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of opportunities here. Yeah. Um, I've, uh, I really appreciate getting plugged into the public interest legal community. Um, I've only had really good experience. I worked at the Unemployment Law Project, and then I currently work at the Northwest Justice Project, where I've gotten a lot of good hands-on experience doing, um, you know, handling cases myself, assisting with cases, um, admit, doing administrative hearings, um, arguing in superior court, um, and getting exposure to a lot of different types of cases from um, eviction defense and domestic violence work to consumer protection and um, education issues. Uh, what are your future plans? Future plans? Well, um, so we're both graduating soon and I'm going back to Colorado. I grew up there and I'm going to be part of their public defense system there. So I'm just waiting just out of placement, but yeah, excited to go back. And I'm also going um, back home to California where I'm going to be a staff attorney with the um, legal services of Northern California. So very excited. Um, Best thing about uh, being band. Well, that we're both in it together. <laughs> <laughs>